everybody I'm here today to do a makeup basket video for you um I hate to call them makeup baskets but it is the makeup that I'm going to be using for the week um ignore my heating pad back here but um this is my stuff so we're going to get started. Um, I probably won't touch everything that's in this bag, but um, I'm going to try to touch most of it. So we will start with the face and I'm going to use the Avon Magic Face Perfector, which is a face primer. I think my light is going to shine that out. So let's see. Okay, so that's the Avon Magic Space Perfector. And I am also going to be using one of my favorites, which is the NYX Pore Filler. That'll be another, that's more for my nose and between my eyes, which I have big pores and like right here on my cheeks. So I'll be using both of those as primers and um, moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using two. I'll be using the Mark Super Conceal Full Coverage Concealer and I'll be using that under my eyes. It does a good job to me. I'll also be using the Ruby Kisses. 3D face creator that is in level 11. I'll be using this for my brows. And this is one of the items I wanted to kind of put a dent in in 2015. And I think I'm doing a decent job. You can see I always dig in the same place. Need to use the other parts of that. Okay, so those are the two concealers. Um for foundation. I'm mostly going to be using, I think, the Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Sticks in 330 and 350. Yeah, I like how um, simple that is and it kind of gives you this kind of satiny, but I dropped one, this satiny feel when you um, put it on and it blends in easy. So I think I'm mostly going to be using this for the week. But maybe once I'll mix the Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless in those same two colors, 330 and 350. So maybe one time I will use these. I didn't know it was a 340 until today when I was watching somebody's video. So boo for me. Um, so that'll be it for foundations. For powder, I'll be using the, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. And this is in the color Tan to Dark. And that's what this looks like. It looks a little light, but when you put it on, it melts right into your skin. Um... I'm also going to be using, did I take it out? No, that's in another, um, well, no, we can go ahead and talk about it. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Queen um, Natural Hue Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. I'll open it because that package will be shiny. And I'll use that to do a light contour when I feel like contouring. Okay, now for my eyes. I will be using, I think all my stuff fell over. I will be using the Avon Eye Primer in a medium dark. Make sure I'm not telling you the wrong thing. The Avon Eyeshadow Primer in warm, be warm beige, medium dark, in warm beige. And that is the, that color. This is the one I had to buy from eBay because they stopped selling warm beige. I don't know why. Um, I'll also be using 
my two color tattoos as bases. One is in nude pink. The other one is in just beige. And that's that. Because you know I kind of need to cancel out this darkness that's on my eye. Um, well, this is in my hand. I'll also be using the e.l.f. cream liner in black. That's what that looks like. Like we don't know what a black liner looks like. I pulled out for shadows Mabel, the Maybelline the blush nudes palette because I did a hellified look the last time I did it and I don't think I did the palette any justice so I'm going to try to redeem myself and I'm going to use some of these colors this week and see if I can get a nice spring look I need to redeem myself on the spring look and on the um using this blush nudes palette and of course I'm going to be using particularly this coastal sense palette because it has a lot of neutral colors this is a palette that I put together myself it has a lot of neutral colors in it and some pops of color so I'm going to be using this this week. I've been using these Coastal Sense palettes a lot because I love them. And I'll be using this little, I got this in an Ipsy bag, this Love and, NYX Love and Rio palette. And this is the Cabana Boy. I'm going to try that one out this week. Put the sponge back in here. Um... For mascara, I'm going to be using a couple of them. I'm, uh, I'm going to be using this YSL false, false Lash Effect mas Mascara. And I'm also going to be using the IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes, Hello Lashes Extensions Mascara. And actually, I'm going to sneak some stuff out of my pocketbook because I think I'm going to throw this in. This is the mascara I couldn't remember in my other video, the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. I'm sure this is in black is black because I can't read the bottom of it, but I'm going to be using that at least once this week. Actually, I have it on today. Um... I forgot to mention a face product and it is the Milani Powder Blush in Warm Petals which I'm wearing today. Absolutely love this because it's so neutral and it just gives you that glow. I'm going to give you the true color of it. I'm trying to hide it from that um let's see, that bright light. But that is it. I have it on today and this is my favorite Milani powder blush the the with the rose um what do you call it emboss is that a word embossment if it's not it's gonna be a word today because I can't think of the word I want to use um we'll go for lips I am going to be using whichever one of the MAC liners that come to my hand this week. Um, I'm also going to be using, I'm just trying to pull something else to the top so I can let you know. Um, I don't know why I keep them in this plastic, but these are the Avon Glimmer Sticks lip liners actually this one it's not even open yet because I just bought a few of them but this one is a clear one and it just you know keeps your 
lipstick from bleeding into the fine lines around your lips. So don't know if I'm going to use that, but turn the colors up. I will be using some of these this week. And I do like them because they are nice and creamy and they don't tug on your lips when you put them on. So I'm going to keep those in my makeup bag. If you want to see the colors of them and you need some swatches, just let me know and I'll do a real quick swatch video on that. Um, what else? I know I'm forgetting something. I am forgetting something. But anyway, we all know that I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil along with the NYX um, Brow Mascara. And this is in chocolate. This is in espresso. Uh, today I only used the pencil because I didn't feel like getting deep and I didn't do um, concealer and all that stuff because I'm not leaving out of the house. So, um, I think, oh, lip products. I'm going to be really, really neutral this week because that's just the mood I'm in. So I'm probably going to be using my Freckle Tone lipstick. Along with, um, I think it's new, it's matte counterpart in Honey Love, which is what I have on today. But I have a little of the um, the NYX um, Butter Gloss and Angel Food Cake on the top of it, which is going to be in rotation this week. Of course, my La Creme in um, New Beach. It's going to be in rotation this week. And um, my Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude number 655. That'll be in rotation this week. Don't know if I'm going to use this LA Girl Lip Paint, but I have it in there for just in case. This is um, the one in Blushing. Ooh, ooh, that's going back in the cap. It's just going to be messy in the cap. And um, finally, if I'm not forgetting anything, I will be using my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Which I didn't put on today. Why do I keep forgetting that? Poor head. Okay. I didn't really put on foundation today. I just have on a little bit of um, concealer under my eyes a little bit of um eyeshadow my brows a little mascara no liner that's my face today my hair up with my beanie on because today is laundry day and why get dressed up for laundry but that is it i put that on the wrong side that is it for my makeup of the week um i pulled this out of i have a bag full of stuff i got from ipsy this is a city color b matte blush in the color fresh melon i'm gonna try that out this week let me stick that in my bag and also i pulled out the cella um, eyeliner pen and it is in indigo blue I'm just liking the tip on that so and I might well, blue is not bad maybe I have a blue eyeline this week so let me put those in my bag too and um one um, eyeshadow it's called pop it's a pop Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow pop goes the shadow in champagne and I don't know how I got broke, but it was another Ipsy product that I might try this week. So let's throw that little thing in there. And that is it for my makeup for the week. I'm sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder. But that's it for my makeup for the week. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.